Hi, boys and girls. I'm here today to read you a book called The Napping House. And the author of the book is Audrey Wood, and the illustrator of the book is Dawn Wood. Audrey Wood is the author, so the author writes the words, and the illustrator draws the pictures, right? The Napping House. There is a house, a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. See, it's raining out. And in that house, there is a bed, a cozy bed. Here's my cozy bed. I'll put my cozy bed right there. There's the cozy bed. In a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that bed, there is a granny. Here's my granny. See her? I'm going to put her this way because she's on the bed. A snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that granny, see, right here is a child. Here's the child. A dreaming child on a snoring granny on a cozy bed in the napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that child, who's on the child? You see the picture? A dog. Here's my dog. Here's the dog. A dozing dog on a dreaming child on a snoring granny on a cozy bed in the napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that dog there is a cat. There's my cat. Going on top of the dog, a snoozing cat on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in the napping house where everyone is sleeping. Who's going to be on the cat? On the cat there is, look really close, you see it? A mouse. Here's my picture of the mouse. A slumbering mouse on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in the napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that mouse, this one you have to look really close. See it? Right on top of the mouse. It's a flea. There's the flea. It's very tiny. The flea's gonna go on the slumbering mouse. Can it be a wakeful flea on a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in the napping house where everyone is sleeping? A wakeful flea who bites the mouse, who scares the cat. Look at the cat. Who claws the dog, who thumps the child. Look at the pictures. Is it still raining out? You can tell in the pictures, see the window? Something might be happening. Who bumps the granny? Who breaks the bed? In the napping house where no one now is sleeping. What's outside? Do you see it up here? It's a rainbow, right? Because it was raining and then it was sunny. And it needs to rain and have a sun at the same time to make a rainbow. The end, and that's a picture of Dawn and Audrey Wood, the author and the illustrator. The end. I'm going to mix these up and I want to see if you can help me put them back in order. Who, what was the very first thing in the story? It's the napping house and what is it? Do you remember? The cozy bed. So the cozy bed is first, right? Then what? who was on the cozy bed? Do you remember? It's the granny, right? The granny comes next. Then who? 
the child, right? The dreaming child. Who was on top of the child? Was it the cat or the dog? Do you remember? The dog, right? The dozing dog. Then the cat, the snoozing cat. Then who? Mouse or flea? Who comes next? The mouse, right? And at the very top, the last one in the story was the flea, right? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven things in our story. And they kind of go by size, don't they? From small, from big to small. I hope you guys have a great afternoon and maybe you could draw a picture from the story or you could try to practice writing this word right here, the house, it's called the napping house. Maybe you could have your parent write out H-O-U-S-E and you could try to practice writing it and then you could draw one of these from the story. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye.